and just one turn till we get this encampment down. That should give us our mach. Come on, come on. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This is a really nice spot they got here. And I mean, just look at this awesome giant's causeway. It also serves as a great place to put my units before I do something to England here. And again, the whole leader ability here is around 75% discount on levying units. So having these guys here right next to the English is gonna be sweet. I want to upgrade a few more guys, but I'm just gonna start sending people over towards England. And it should send some around to Arma on the backside. Or maybe Arma itself can survive and capture Leeds on its own. Let's send everyone else here to the north. We'll start in Liverpool, work our way down in England. The issue with doing it the other way around is that Europe's uh, loyalty pressure is going to mean that I just lose these cities and I'm going to have to end up raising cities like London. If you watched my Japan playthrough, we had a really bad time with that in Australia. Things are going to look very scary for England next scene though. And cut. Oh baby, the Vikings are here. Let's go to Armagh as well. Levy the military. Only 120 gold. Thank you very much. Okay, we're going to have to wait till the next turn to actually move these guys. They're a bit of a precarious position. They were just, you know, wandering around looking for stuff. Should have been at home. We gotta send these guys towards Leeds. Orobro hits 10 pop. Who would have thought this city I captured from the Swedes would be such a thriving metropolitan area? Okay, I've got Muscoming coming out in two turns, but there's no time for that. I don't have gold to upgrade my other guys either. So let's just go to war with these mans. Where are you? Where are you? Cassus Belli, formal war. Let's get it started, England. Okay, you're mad. First objective is get these levied guys onto land so they don't get slaughtered. And I've got to keep decent care of my troops in the ocean too. Like I see, I've got a caravel on the other side here. So I should probably get this guy nearby just so, you know, they're not too far away. Maybe they can uh, intercept enemy boats. I've got a frigate as well. Let's swing them around. And I can probably actually take a shot on the city with the caravel. But instead, we'll get the berserker on there. And oh man, they don't actually do that much damage. Let's take that builder and start getting to work on Liverpool. Anyways, I don't care. I've got so many units here, I just gotta get them to do some kind of damage, right? Um, as for the mainland, it looks like this Berserker can land. We've got our Siege Tower with them. If they fight the city, it says minor defeat, uh, but minor defeat is not too bad when you're going up against the city, man. I've got other reinforcements coming in to them a bit. Hesitant to let them in range of Sheffield. There's just no reason to take um, extra city shots when you don't need to, right? So we'll keep our guys here just sitting in the ocean. Um, and right, I just want to make sure that we don't get an English caravel coming around the back because they can just start shooting at our guys and doing damage with no repercussion. And I'm fine with taking damage, but they better be taking some damage as well. Wow, I can actually go in from the sea? That's unreal. Does that work with the knight? It does too. Okay, that's cool. I did, I did not realize that mechanic was part of the game. Uh, can this guy get in here and do a victory? Doesn't quite have the movement to do that. Up near our homelands, I have found this one warrior sneaking around, so we gotta keep an eye on that, but nothing too worrisome from the English here, at least. With our civic, we've unlocked our first spy ability. Huh. And I wanna go after monarchy. I, I realized this, like, I was going for exploration, and then Realize this is not actually what you want. With Varangia and Norway, you want that inherent effect of 50% more influence points. Behind the scenes, my builders here. Got some cattle upgrading those guys in the city of Gothenburg. I've had this builder fix up the crabs, fix up the stone, amber, and there's just been this silk sitting out here the whole time that I didn't realize we weren't taking advantage of. Oh, a lot of stuff going on here. Screen's moving like crazy. Special session of the World Congress, eh? Well, I've got no Diplo favor. I'm gonna vote. No to that because I can't go to war with myself. Let's see what happens. It passed, that's not good, 12 pluses. All right, the French, they didn't like me before. Dido, I don't care, you're far away. Elizabeth, of course. Gorgo, we're already at war. And Philippe, okay, that's not too bad. Uh, the only thing that's really changed here is the French. I can't remember if I made peace with them. I don't think I did, so. Pretty much the exact same thing going on here, guys. I'm, it's saying the city of Gothenburg, that's what they want to fight me for. Now, my worst fears came to pass here. I had a unit sitting on the fish, and the caravel just came in and mopped them up pretty well instantly. Uh, I better get control of this city ASAP. Let's see if we can get some guys coming in from the sea. This man's already on land to tag it, and we'll go one more time. Nice. Okay, I kind of messed that up. I should have gotten the crossbowman on the land and uh, actually doing some damage. But because we cleaned out that city, the zone of controls opened up just a little bit so our caravel can sneak through here and we've actually discovered a bunch of enemies. The biggest issue though is this one sitting on top of us. So we'll shoot with the frigate. 
Um, I've got a Caravel themselves that can go and damage this guy. But I can't do another shot here with my other Caravel because they're probably going to get attacked by these Bradford troops anyways. How's the reinforcements look? Okay, Quadra Ream needs more Niter before it can get out on the seas. This galley, a three promotion galley, uh, that'd be it. We can upgrade to a Caravel. We'll need them to get into the fight ASAP. Uh, and this galley here, we'll let them chill in Bergen until they can actually get upgraded. Actually, no, we, we own Liverpool now. Let's get, have you head there and you can um upgrade from there get off my lands the english oh right on we got a greek out of that that was pretty handy definitely gonna keep this city of liverpool but i've got to figure out a governor to slot in there who was it oh yeah out here in iceland let's take you right now and we'll reassign you down to liverpool so it'll actually gain loyalty like that's pretty impressive you know even though the english did have a decent counterattack here in the sea we are also on land here in bradford so let's get my guys to surround the city Nice. All right, we can get a build or two at the same time. Now, this guy can't quite make the trek, but can you guys go like this? All right, and then we still have movement. This Berserker gets yourself out of the water, man, because if you're in the water, the garrison health, the, the range shot they get does tons of damage, and we don't want that, do we? No. No, no, no. Uh, I've got a catapult. Let's get them on the land. And we've pretty much used up all the tiles here that we can. This Berserker here's got five movement. I don't know what kind of hacks he's using to get that. We can pillage for money, or we can start beating down on the city. I'm looking around. Okay, two of our other Berserkers can't attack the city this turn. Let's just pillage. We'll wait one more turn before we get started. The issue is we can't actually surround them because they've got the sea here. They've got the caravels. They're controlling that. So if I did do some damage to the health, they would gain that back next turn. As for my units that are just sitting here with the scary boats, hmm, can you get like onto land? That would be really nice. Uh, what about you, Mr. Crossbow? Can you come hide behind the city? The knight, too, will use the zone of control of the city and our boats to hopefully protect our guys from being decimated by these caravels. Ah, and I see this levied unit can actually get onto the land, too, and get started on the fighting. Back here, an armor guy. I've totally forgotten about these guys. They've just been taking damage. Let's see if we can get on towards Leeds. I don't think we'll be able to actually take the city with just two men at arms, but we can pillage our stuff and get some faith and some gold. That's awesome. Picking up the plantation on the silk. we got to keep our guys happy while we're constantly at war. In Oslo, the plan looks to be these top tiles for the north here we'll probably turn those in districts maybe even these ones along the coast as well but that wheat is pretty nice the best thing to do is just not take away any tiles at all though so how about we get a harbor down here that'll give us some more housing too once we get the lighthouse up in arbor we finish the workshop i'm looking forward to getting uh, an actual factory we're not too far off from that we'll get gunpowder do i see anything else we desperately need not really so we'll go gunpowder into industrialization in the meantime though i'm struggling so hard for gold so let's place the commercial hub down here and hopefully we can start earning a little bit of that how will the english respond more boats taking out one of my caravels but luckily my troops were spared i see they've got a great general down over here too but they're not actually with their troops let's just try and keep these boats to the west of liverpool here i'm not sure why that berserker went right towards them i don't like it when the game lies to me and says oh i can make it this far that i actually can't uh but the crossbowmen i'm pretty sure you can get in the city and you can fire down with your ranged attacks doesn't quite finish them off oh well um catapult now we got to make a, a choice we want to go for the wall and bradford or instead do we want to go after these caravels now either way it doesn't do too much uh, but it looks like my berserkers do quite a bit of damage uh, due to this, what, siege tower here. So getting rid of the wall is not actually the biggest deal in the world. So why don't we get the catapult? We'll have you help out, shoot out the caravels just a little bit. Every little bit helps. Um, and with my frigate, I guess I, uh, let's go and finish off a caravel. Don't want them healing up, coming back, and then hurting me. Do I have any reinforcements, though? I've got one caravel that can come in and help. This this Berserker's just in a bad spot. It's not going to end well for him. And then I've got a couple more boats that are not upgraded. One galley and a quadrireme, but we'll have to wait a couple turns for them to actually come in and do stuff. And Hamari finished the harbor, so you know what? Why don't we get started on working towards some more naval power? So we'll go caravel. Let me change up my government cards. Um, I do want gold to help with discounts on unit upgrades. But you know what I need more is production towards industrial era naval units and better. And what else I need is money from pillaging. Where is this card? Raid. Okay, let's plug that in. Is this really going to be worth 25 gold per turn? That's hard to say. We'll plug it in. We'll see how things go. And then we'll come back to that in just a minute. Speaking of raiding, though, my man-at-arms, they've made it here into Leeds. We're going to just avoid the city a little bit. Try and get onto this plant. What do we have here? A lumber mill. 
and Bradford too, the, the pillaging is quite attractive. 324 gold for pillaging this, what, what was that? I think a, a, a lumber mill, that's beautiful. Uh, here on the spices, we can get 172 faith. Another 172 faith. Now I know I said I wanted, I wanted to actually attack the city, but man, those pillages are just too attractive to pass up. Wait a minute, these guys can still go. They've got five movement. Okay, so I know they're getting one movement from the commando upgrade. But let me go and find out where the other one's coming from too. So Berserker, it gets four movement if it starts in enemy territory. That's what it is. Okay, so these guys go haywire once they're in your lands. Do some pillaging. We'll start attacking the city here too. Okay, that's about half. Man, next turn, next turn, and our guys have half their health. All right, we'll get Bradford pretty soon then. And we can even upgrade our cities with the pillaged builders we find too. Now this builder's only got one, but they could actually fix up these improvements. The spices, the lumber mill. With all that gold, I can upgrade my units. I don't actually have the card plugged in to take advantage of that. Instead, I got the press gangs. Um, so I'll just wait for Divine Right to come in, and then we can swap out our cards. That's only three turns, and then I'll have to wait... It looks like, you know what, maybe I'll get Divine Right like close to being used. And then we'll swap out our cards so that we can quickly go upgrade all our units in one turn. And then go back to pillaging and getting double out of that. We got more envoys though. We're going to send them right to Armok. That, like, I just don't want anyone taking over the city like while I'm trying to use it for my war, right? Let's buy a trader here in Gutberg because we can. Wow, we actually have so much faith. We can buy out so much stuff. This is insane. Uh, Stockholm, yeah, why don't we just buy a builder? Who cares? 